A Colorado ultra athlete has excelled at his sport. He's a runner, has outpaced many of his competitors, but he says he's being passed up for some opportunities. CBS 4's Michael Abeda is elevating black voices this afternoon with the struggles facing ultra runner Joseph Gray. I love exploring stuff. Joseph Gray found the perfect career for himself, but it wasn't without struggle. He's a professional long distance runner who trains in Colorado Springs. He started when he was a kid in Washington. I was actually getting into a little bit of trouble in middle school and um, uh, the track coach kind of talked me into it. He used running as a way to explore his world. He ran everywhere, even in inner city Baltimore, where people didn't know what he was running from. <laughs> people looking at me like I'm crazy. He turned pro as an adult and dominated trail racing. He was the first black athlete to make the USA trail running team and win national mountain running championships. He's been awarded USA Mountain Runner of the Year seven times, and that's just the beginning of many awards. But when it came to getting paid for his success, running companies weren't knocking on his door. You know, you don't want to jump to conclusions, but, oh, it's because I'm black, but it starts to make you wonder. He saw his fellow athletes that were white getting big deals when he wasn't. But when it came to time to get sponsorships and contracts, it was almost as if I had to be very dominant almost before I could get what I think I deserve. Eventually he did get sponsors, but the experience reinforced what he already knew. People of color are underrepresented in the distance running community. At times he says he wondered if he was really welcome, especially when amateur black runner Ahmaud Arbery was chased down and murdered in Georgia. We see what happens to Ahmaud Arbery and it's like, man, you telling me that there are people out there that feel like they can be the police because you black and you in the wrong neighborhood. That's why his second passion is exposing children of color to his sport so they can see that there's a space for them in distance running. I think it helps them dream. Uh, I look at when I was a kid, uh, Sugar Ray, you know, we had, uh, you know, Michael Jordan, we had Magic Johnson, Dr. J. We had these people that made you dream and you, and you saw them being great. So you felt like, oh, I can be great too. He wants to be on their team the way his coaches and sponsors are on his. Uh, I had a lot of people help me throughout my career, and I wanted to be, you know, that same kind of person for kids in my community. Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.